Hi everyone, this is Ingrid. Welcome back to my channel. Beginning a journey into the world of dating apps can be overwhelming, especially if you are not exactly sure what app to download. Because some of these are meant for short-term relationships, while others encourage really getting to know each other before meeting up for a cocktail or FaceTime coffee. Well, here's the answer to your problem. Whether you're looking to head down the aisle or for a casual fling, there is a service suited for you. Know what you really want and determine the dating app that's best for you. Okay, without further ado, let's start! Top 1 in our list is The Hinge, which is considered to be the best dating app overall. This dating app started as a way to connect friends of friends and people in your network. It connects users with people in the neighborhood they have chosen. Hinge shows you more information about people. So if you're uncomfortable meeting strangers from the internet, this makes it easier. It gives you people's last names and usually their neighborhood, age, height, hometown, and college. Not like other apps where you have to both agree to match before the message can be sent, people in Hinge can message you to get an opener for your conversation to keep going. While it's free, there is a paid version as well. So why choose this app? It's because it gives you a limited number of connections a day, making it a better option for people searching for more serious relationships. Now let's go to the pros and cons of this app. Pros are, one is it shows more information about people including the likes and dislikes. Two, it feels more focused on meaningful conversations and building relationships. Cons are, one, it only offers limited numbers of matches unless you pay to upgrade. Two, it wants people to pay to give matches a rose, making this app slightly focusing. And our top two in the list is the Match Dating app. And this is considered to be best for marriage. Because users must pay for a membership in this dating app, it means that the people who join are focused on commitment. So why choose Match? It's because it's the best option for serious daters who are marriage-minded. And what are their pros and cons? Well, the pros are, one, people here are seriously looking for relationship or marriage. Two, it gives users extensive information for potential matches. And the cons are, one, it's free option gives users only a preview with no way to access matches or messages. Two, you can only start a conversation with choices match presents to you. And the top three dating app in our list is Raya, which is best for exclusivity. This dating app is famous for the one of the most exclusive dating apps. Because it's invite only, there is an application process and people have to pay to be members, there is a higher quality appeal to it than a typical app. So why choose Raya? It's because it's famous for an exclusive dating app, frequented celebrities and influencers. So what are the pros and cons of this app? Pros are one, it's because members here are respectful and interesting. Two is, the exclusivity of the app makes it more exciting and appealing. And three is, it's exciting to see celebrity dating profiles. For the cons are, one, members must pay for their daily likes if they reach the daily limit. And two is, it only works in iPhones. And the fourth dating app in our list is Bumble, which is considered to be the best one for first dates. Using this app is quite simple. 
You just have to make a profile with your picture and information about yourself and then you can either have a free plan or pay for other options. And why choose this app? Well, it's because it has a unique concept. Women message men first and then they're given 24 hours to respond, making it a female-driven app. And what are the pros? One is, it's easy to connect with multiple people at once. Two, women message first so they can choose the topic. Three is, it's location-based so you can see who's near you when you're on a vacation or in a new town. And cons are, one, men can easily respond in uncomfortable ways and there's more harassment. Two, many men don't list lots of information about themselves. And three, you have a limited time to use an opener, so you have to check the app frequently. And the fifth dating app in our list is her which is considered to be the best for lgbtq plus dating much like tinder her is also about swiping a swipe left means that you are not interested about that person while swipe right means that you are interested to know about that individual so why choose her it's because it's the world's largest free dating app for LGBTQ women. And the press of this app are one is because it's the largest free dating app for lesbian and queer women. Two, it also shares LGBTQ news and local events taking place, offering safe spaces. Number six in our list is the J Swipe dating app. And this dating app is best for Jewish dating. This is a great option if you are a Jewish or you want to date a Jewish man or women. This dating app offers a free version as well as first class membership where you can go to exclusive events and get perks such as free drinks and merch. The pros of this dating app is the ability to meet Jewish singles easily and for its cons is that the dating apps layout makes it difficult to see where the people are based or swiping from and lastly the seventh dating app in our list is the tinder which is considered to be the best dating app for casual dating this app is probably best in small town where people are looking for more informal arrangements. It started as an entirely free app, but now there's a free and a paid premium option that allows users to super like people, use passport feature to see who's out there in other locations, and see who liked you before you swiped right on them. Pros of this are, one, it's perfect for dipping your toe into the world of online dating. Two is, it's easy to navigate, especially for dating app beginners. And cons are, one, it's one of the most casual dating option geared more towards hookups. Two is, it emphasizes the endless options you encounter while swiping. So, those are the top 7 dating apps for this coming year, 2022. I know it's a little bit hard to decide on which dating app you would choose to download since they all have extremely different vibes. My tip on that is to determine your purpose of getting into online dating. Are you for casual or for serious relationships? Then look for that kind of app that cater for that kind of dating. And before getting into this world, you should also be aware of the possible mishaps that you may encounter as you endeavor to find love online. So be sure that you also have to watch this video about the online dating scams 
And the link of this video is in the description box below. That's all. I hope you enjoy and you find this video helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for more videos like this. Good luck! Thank you so much for watching. Bye!